Hello Capricorn, welcome to your bonus love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Capricorn, this is a collective love message for your sign. Someone rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Capricorn. Let's see. What do we have for you? Okay. Traction. Okay. Let's see Capricorn. Capricorn, we are connecting in this reading here for you with someone who feels this person might be quite spiritual sp spiritual um, it's like they, they feel this connection on a spiritual level this is someone here who feels that uh, uh, both of you were met W were meant to meet each other it's like it was destined for both of you to kind of um, for both of your paths to cross each other's you know what I mean um, yeah this is someone who is trying to listen to their intuition I feel that they feel this connection very very strongly Mutual energy, we have consequences. And on your side, we have trust, realization, and attraction. So with this card, I feel that, you know, you are very attracted to them. You found this person uh, handsome or very beautiful. Uh, chemistry might be quite, quite strong between the two of you. But there is something here about trust. And you realizing a very important thing. It's like you are going through awakening regarding this connection. Overall energy, we have criticism. Maybe this person criticized you. Maybe you feel that they don't trust you. And this connection here is now facing some sort of consequences of this person's actions their criticism here there is something about your personal and spiritual development and i feel you going for awakening big time but let's see capricorn let's see this person's energy and feelings towards you and this connection. Could you please show me this person's energy and feelings towards Capricorn and this connection, please? Seven of Cups. Oh, wow. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have seven of cups, we have a nine of swords, we have justice. Okay, seven of swords, eight of cups. Ace of pentacles, seven of wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. Judgment. Yeah, I feel this person is receiving their karma, Capricorn. Yeah. Mm hmm. We have justice and judgment. Yeah, this is strong karma. You might be dealing with um, Libra. I also have Scorpio energy. So we have a seven of cups to the nine of swords.
This is someone here who might make you feel that you are not an, that you are an option, not a priority. It's like they came across as someone who's very popular, who has so many kind of uh, options. But what I am getting here also is that you might see this person as someone who doesn't know exactly what they want. And it might be a case that emotionally they are all over the place. This person is indecisive. There is something here also about them making promises and not delivering on this. We have a nine of swords. And justice. Oh my gosh, this is someone who's really receiving their karma. And they're going through... They're not having a great time. I can tell you that. The conscious here is... Oof, this is someone who has guilty conscious and it's like every day this justice divine justice and this judgment cut which represents karma or cause on you know um, action and kind of cause and effect right a and i feel that this person you know even if they're trying to kind of uh, approach everyday life in a normal way they have things to do you know that that divine justice doesn't let them forget what they have done and with the nine of swords this person excuse me is losing it's losing sleep over you this is someone who has seriously guilty conscious capricorn why because they lied seven of swords this person was sneaky was manipulative was not fully transparent with you and they lied they were manipulative they were telling you something else acting differently behind your back they betrayed your trust eight of cups it might be a case that this person kind of felt at the time that the grass is greener on the other side and with the eight of cups they might have kind of you know um, I feel that this person was very avoidant and dismissive and it's like they were acting like a brat very critical of you and that's why you have consequences because it's karma this person is going through a divine justice and that's the consequences of their actions towards you Capricorn I have here one thing though Eight of Cups to the Ace of Pentacles suggests that this person uh, wants to make an offer to you. But you are dealing here with an individual who pushed you away. And they might feel this connection on an emotional level, big time and spiritual level that is divinely guided and all and 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 you know all that jazz. But the what they are showing here is that this person did you wrong they they messed things up and they pushed you away they were too faced they were not transparent they were lying they were making promises they 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 it's like they are they didn't deliver on them and it might be a case that indeed this person thought at some point that the grass is green on the other side well they fought wrong i can tell you that Capricorn because they're coming here with an offer and it feels like it's big it's big 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 offer and with the seven of wands it's like this person wants to kind of prove it to you that it's really really significant and you should and you should uh, accept this but I feel you're dealing here with someone who is very entitled and has big ego it's like they feel that they are a catch but this this person is going through they're going through uh, this is someone who's receiving their karma and that's the consequences of their actions mm -hmm. let's see Capricorn your energy Show me Capricorn's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection. Wow. 
nine of cups eight of pentacles the hanged man the two of wands the death card queen of wands page of wands five of wands I feel that uh, for some of you with the five of wands is an overall energy uh, for 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 your uh, part of the reading I feel that for some of you you might be really really agitated angry um, there is a tension between the two of you and it's like I feel that it, like frustration might be growing here I am not quite sure 100% here Capricorn that uh, you are very into uh, you you would be I'm not seeing that the idea of them reaching out makes you feel excited or you know I, I don't see that however nine of cups indicates that you will get what you want from the situation for some of you this is a personal satisfaction because you will find out that you know this person is receiving their karma or they will come and they will try to make some sort of kind of offer here for to you Capricorn either way nine of cups it's a wish card so make a wish because it will it, it will be granted um, we also have eight of pentacles and the hanged man I feel that at the moment Capricorn you might be focusing on your work related matters or if you are studying attending college or if you're at school your studies if not you might be working on something in general and it's like you are focusing your energy on this but I see you in a very passive energy and you are going through awakening it's big time with the hanged man and the death card there is a shift happening in your energy and it's like it feels like you are changing perspective you understand certain things and um, with the death card there is a big transformation happening because of change of perspective and angle regarding many many matters two of pentacles I feel that this person at some point was juggling you or they made you feel that way and I don't feel that you trust this person Queen of Wands suggests that this person might have put you in a third party situation or someone here got in the middle or there was a situation that at the time they prioritize it over this connection and it's like Oh, you are confused you might feel that way right you, you are confused don't worry I make it easier for you and with the death card you might just kind of um, say enough it's enough I'm not giving to the situation anymore if someone wants to put me in a third party then good luck with that I'm not a third party I know what I deserve and yes you might feel attract you might be attracted to this person but i feel that you are just angry with them it's as simple as that or annoyed or this or just this person emotionally hurts you or you are hurt mm -hmm. we have this page of pentacle sorry page of wands so i see that you will receive a message from this individual for some of you children might be involved in this situation as well but I'm not seeing you being particularly enthusiastic about about this about the prospect of them reaching out to you now when I see the cards I feel that maybe trust here suggests that you don't trust this person and you've realized certain things yes we have this moment of awakening realization looking at certain things from a completely different perspective but um, 
I am not seeing here Capricorn you being uh, mm. I feel I feel you are might be hurt or angry with them six of pentacles i feel this person breadcrumbed you at some point okay could you please give me the outcome for capricorn and this person this connection this person with capricorn seven of pentacles the outcome please show me the outcome please mm, ace of cups wow Page of Swords. You might be thinking about this person. Two of Swords. Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords. Yeah. Oh, this Page of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. This is someone here who is thinking a lot about you. And I feel that as an overall energy for this reading, it might be a case that both of you are quite curious about each other. But I see this person more than you. It's like... Uh, that is very interesting. So, seven in your outcome, Capricorn, we have a seven of pentacles and ace of cups. This person is invested in this connection and it's like they want to be given here a chance. This person is going to ask you. Uh, it's like they will come with an offer of love and they would like to kind of you to accept they love but with the two of swords ten of swords and four of swords that's what i was getting i'm not quite sure that you are open for that possibility because two of swords it's a double-edged sword situation indeed but it also look at the body language this is this is that indicates someone who is uh, protecting their heart and they are losing they are using excuse me they are using logic and you have all sorts of energy which which um, suggests that you you know it's like you know the facts and your view about this whole situation it's based on clarity understanding logic and rational approach towards this whole situation and certain things cannot be denied with the ten of swords this person betrayed your trust and there was a very pain emotionally painful ending and uh, ten of swords it's a very very challenging energy and you are healing from it with the four of swords and it hasn't been easy and with the two of swords i feel that you are closed off and for now, it might be a case that you just don't want this person. You don't want to because you are still angry. You are still agitated and annoyed with, with the fact what happened here. They might be, you know, um, feeling that both of you are destined, but <laughs> we have free will. If you don't want this person, that's it. That's it. You might be attracted to them, yes. Absolutely, but it doesn't mean that you want to be with them, right? Because this person put you through a lot, Capricorn, a lot. I can see it. But you will have that moment of personal satisfaction. 
you will hear something about this person or I, I'm getting that this person will come forward and that will be your moment kind of of you know yeah I knew that they will I knew that something that they chose over this connection won't work out and I knew that they will receive their karma something like this I'm getting mm -hmm, with the nine of cups but as an overall energy for this reading at least for now I don't see you being particularly enthusiastic about them coming forward with an offer of love uh, and I feel that for some of you it might be a case that you will it might be a case that you will ignore this person's message and you will block them because of what they put you through with the ten of swords and you know you just won't heal you just want to heal with the four of swords you want peace and quiet and you just want to be with yourself and kind of focus on yourself and heal from that very very difficult situation that they put you through either way if you decided to to kind of you know to answer to their question or to have a conversation with this person or meeting whatever the case might be I feel that for a lot of you with the two of swords the ten of swords and the four of swords you will be very very closed off you will be holding back and um, there will be not much feedback on your side from your side I see you being very selective with your energy especially when it comes to this person and um, for some of you you might reject this individual I'm seeing that for now of course for some of you you know um, you might be dealing with Sagittarius or we have a strong cross water <laughs> who has placements in Sagittarius a Capricorn if, of course for some of you if you want uh, you know this person be involved with this person and if you want this person to uh, to come forward and kind of uh, this connection to be given a chance or another chance what I'm getting here is that yes this is something what they want and if you have a wish absolutely I can see it happening but when I read this energy for 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 your collective Capricorn's collective a lot of you are just done with this person for now at least but I feel that they will be trying they will be trying here to change your mind but one thing here is very significant is that this person at the moment is receiving their karma. You can be reassured of that, Capricorn. Capricorn, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Capricorn, have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day. And once again, thank you very, very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.